Okay, this is an upload, and that's what we're going to be doing from now on. I had something to say about Nico. Nico's a guy I think I'd, I'd probably like to meet someday, actually. But I have to make a comment on that, Nico, and correct you on a couple of things. you got to be careful what you say on your show, because number one, you said you find Passport to be a very credible person. I don't know where that comes from. He's toxic. He's poison. Secondly... Your relationship to Popeye, Don C, and Aloe, they're toxic, hateful, poisonous people. You said on your show that you don't want to be around negativity, but yet you choose Popeye as a close friend that you even talk to on the phone, not to mention Aloe. People like Don C, people like these characters. Now, I don't mean to get on your case about this, but I am, actually, that you're being a hypocrite, not being honest with yourself. Um, I think you are different from these people. Now, the other question I would have for Nico, and Nico, you could write me privately. You said about how you came home, you found out that your wife was being with another guy, and you just kind of gave over the house to her. Now, did she hear that you got into an injury or something? Was that part of it? Was it, you know, anything to do with her? Well, your injury. I don't want to get graphic. Or how long were you gone? Okay, those are questions that you never really talked about. Now, why would you feel you had to lose your house? It's an honest question. I mean, she was, you know, there's no fidelity there. She was cheating on you. So why, and you're not explaining that to us, and you don't have an obligation, obviously, but since you mentioned it, why not pull through with some answers? Why did you not, did you divorce her? Why did you get the house? If she was not faithful to you, that's a reason for a divorce and getting the house. So that's where I think some of us viewers, certainly me, are confused. Why did she get the house and you walked away from it? I don't want to hear because you're a good guy. She did you wrong. She did you wrong. And of course, you didn't explain why she was not faithful to you. Were you gone that long in the military? Would have to do with some disfigurement or something, some of the disabilities you have in your nerves or muscles in your face, your sight, your eye. I don't know. You talk about that stuff, so I, I will bring it up. So yeah, that would be interesting. And you could write me prior if you don't want to. You don't want to talk about this uh, on YouTube. Uh, I don't think so sure I'm going to have a comment section on here. Most people know my email address, my social media address. You could write me if you want, or you could look me up on uh, Facebook and uh, find a way to message me. We can communicate. But yeah, why don't you kind of, you know, get the facts out? But when somebody's being hypocritical, I'm, I'm going to... Well, you're contradicting everything you're saying, really, by saying that you don't want to be around negative people, you had a bad past, you know, you, you're a better guy for everything that you learn, and that, that's fantastic. But why? I mean, you, you, do you realize what you're sounding like? There's a lot of contradiction going on here. You don't want to be around negative people, but you worship... Some people on YouTube that have been the most toxic people in the community. Talking about fucking kids up the ass, you know, people putting little skits on that are very hateful, how they talk on YouTube, but yet you associate with them. So how do you, how do you, it's a good question, how do you expect people to respect you when maybe commenters on your next show will bring that up or bring that up when you do a live or something with Aloe or Popeye or something? Why don't you bring that up as a topic about it? Because I think a lot of people would like to tr I try to understand what you're all about because you're in so many directions on which you talk about. You're a better person than you used to be. That's great, you know. Uh, but you do things that make people say you're full of shit. Al and Popeye and, and that bunch, they're the most toxic people ever, ever on the YouTube community. By far. Yet you associate with them. But yet, at the same breath, you're saying that, you know, I remove myself from negativity. Well, that's being a hypocrite, sir. I'm not jumping on your ass or nothing. I think you've got a good... Got a lot of good qualities and uh, respecting family and things like that. You got good qualities. You came a long way from your past and you tried to better yourself. That's commendable, right? And you've been through some shit that some people would never want to be through. It makes you stronger. So why don't you be a stronger person and adhere to the things that you talk about on here? That you want to be away from negativity. How is that so if you're associating very closely to Popeye and Aloe and those bunch? We want to know. I want to know at least. I'll talk for myself. Explain that. Explain that. And don't say that's just their online personality because I, I don't believe that. I know them better than that. And I know that Popeye is a good guy and whatever. And Aloe is really a respectable pillar of the community. You don't even know who the fuck he is. You don't even show his face. 
They're not friends of yours. And the tox toxicity that comes out of these people, and you associate with them. You call them on the phone, you talk about everything, you spend hours with, with Robert on the phone and this and that. They're negative, toxic people. So that kind of blasts your statement about you stay away from negativity. How could you approve the very volatile, really low-class shit, the attacking of families, looking up of information on people? How do you support that, Nico? I want to know. It's an honest question. Do explain. Do explain.